finally time. We have finally gotten around to filming this video that we've been wanting to film for like 10 years. This is my little sister Ella. You often see Alyssa, my older sister, well, our older sister in videos. She's sitting over there right now behind what? the camera. I'm talking about you. <laughs> but Ella and I are going to be doing some baking today. If you did not know, when I was reading for the second time the To All The Boys I Love Before trilogy, I wrote down every single thing that they mention they bake or make or cook or whatever. And one of the things is pineapple upside down cake. Stormy mentioned that when JFK died, she made a pineapple upside down cake and nearly burnt her house down, so we're going to try avoiding burning our house down. <laughs> but we do need to start off by preheating the oven. We've got all of our ingredients here, and the method is here. I call dibs wearing the apron. No! Yes, I just call dibs. Ha <laughs> I swear there's literally another apron. Maybe somewhere, but I'm very ready for this. Okay, so for the top... <gasps> what did you find? Crisps. <laughs> For the topping, beat 50 grams of softened butter and 50 grams of light soft brown sugar together until creamy. Okay. We're using lactose-free butter because I'm lactose intolerant and we don't have enough here so we're going to have to use margarine for the rest of it because we didn't have any in the shop so let me get a knife. We've washed our hands by the way. 50 grams of softened butter. Softened, I've kept it out of the fridge for a while now. <laughs> Tell me when to stop, okay? Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Really? Exactly right. <laughs> Check me actual baking genius. And I've got the brown sugar. I went out to buy this because we didn't have any. Tell me, oh, I love the smell of brown sugar. 50? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to whisk it up, Ella? So I'll just give it you a little bit. It actually smells amazing. Ella, whisk it up. Whisk, whisk until it's creamy. I want to try some. We're just using this recipe from BBC Good Food, by the way. Okay, so we've got to spread this over the base and a quarter way up the sides. We haven't measured our tin. It says a 20 centimeter round cake tin. We'll just use whatever tin we've got. <laughs> we don't have any tin We'll find a tin. And then arrange the pineapple rings on top. And we don't have cherries either because we don't want to put cherries on ours. And then we can get started with the actual baking of the cakey part. This is the topping. Hannah, we don't have a round tin. Well then, let's just use our loaf tin. Part. Our pineapple cake is going to be in this. <laughs> okay, I have a pen. Stop! I have an Stop! <laughs> Ooh la la. I'm gonna bit up the sides. And then next, we need our pineapple pieces. But oh, my hair's falling down. It says to use seven, but I don't think we need seven considering our tin is a bit smaller. <laughs> but we'll just put however many fit. Next step. Do you wanna hold the camera while I put them on? I'll put my hair back again. No, you can take the, the thing off the tripod. <laughs> I just picked up my camera with the whole tripod. <laughs> okay. Oh, so You're only gonna fit three on. Or not. Do you reckon I should do like halves? <laughs> I'll play like puzzle pieces. It won't be a traditional pineapple upside down cake, but we're gonna get more pineapple on there. <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna look like, but I mean, it's gonna be something. Hey, <laughs> we fit three. Do you want a little spoon? Oh, cool. Okay. Literally, this is so unhealthy, but so tasty. Okay, next step. We need another, we'll just use a simple. bowl. Place 100 grams of softened butter, 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of self raising flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two eggs in a bowl, along with two tablespoons of the reserved pineapple syrup. And use an electric whisk to beat to a soft consistency. Susie, can you, can you shut up? Um, Susie, can you stop it? She keeps meowing. Susie won't shut up. <gasps> Just put all that in. Okay. We've run out of butter. We're using margarine. Oh, Dairy free. Oh my god, I love margarine. 
I don't know if margarine is good for baking, like at all. Two eggs. I'm doing one. I'm taking this down. Oh no. Hello. This tiny bit, I've gotten it out, honestly. However, I put a lot in there. Ella. Okay, no, I'm doing the next one. I need to get that out. That's so much. Look at this, Ella. You don't know how to crack an egg. No, I do. Can I do the other one? No. I promise, I promise well, I'm doing the other one. I promise I'm doing the other one. I'm doing the other one. Okay, you stop winking. That's the eggs. What else? What other ingredients are there, Ella? Teaspoon of vanilla extract. The teaspoon here with our handy measuring thing, magic. That's vanilla extract. Yeah. Where did you get that? From the cupboard. I'm sure that's not filled up for something else. It smells of vanilla. No. It says vanilla on it. I think you're meant to break it. So I don't know. I don't know how these work. This is in a different language. Let me see. Let's look it up. What's this for? And who's this for? What for? Jimena. Like llamas? Yeah. I feel like I meant to break this, but I don't know how. I literally don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna try keeping it in there as we hold it. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna make a difference. Keep this stick in there as you pour it out. I'm so lost. Same. I feel like we're actually just being stupid. It's, it's done. Stuff. Okay, let's just pull that in. I don't know what we just did. We've we've done something. We've got it all out. Yeah. I don't I don't think it we is. did it in the very right way. A teaspoon of baking powder. You. There you go. Put that in. Now we need two tablespoons of this. Okay, and I think that's it. We need the electric whisk. Me doing it. Okay. Can you believe I didn't like butter before? It looks done to me. Let me try a bit. I'll do this finger that I didn't just lick. It tastes so good. It tastes for something really funny. <laughs> Very vanilla -y. Should we put some more pineapple juice in there? I mean, it says pineapple syrup. Is that pineapple juice? I just, I just assumed that that was pineapple juice. Well, next what we need to do, I might lick the off the whisk. And the pineapple syrup tastes for something completely different. Well, we don't got any pineapple syrup. <laughs> Let's put some more pineapple juice in it, Hannah. I hope that was vanilla extract. Okay, we're putting more pineapple juice in. Baking is all about experimenting. Next final step is to spoon this into the pan. Hey, this is a good spatula. Yeah, it's a really cute spatula. It's pink. It's mine. It actually is mine. I got it for my birthday. Nice. Who gave you a spatula for your birthday? They gave me a baking set. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm turning 16 soon. I'm gonna be a big gal. How long does that have to bake for? 35 minutes. <laughs> Ella wants to watch football. I need to do some homework and make my friend's birthday card for her party tomorrow. Let me get the spoon. I don't know how safe it is because it's got raw egg in it. And now it's going into the oven. Goodbye for 35 minutes. Goodbye. <laughs> We'll see you on the other side. Embrace a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the sky away. I'm gonna lick the bowl clean now. And then okay. we'll see you in 35 minutes when we are ready to take it out of the oven. Do do do. Okay, so technically it's been 35 minutes, but we realized as it was in there that they said for us to put it in like a thin pan sort of thing, but we've got it in a low pan. So we're gonna check with this thing, Maggie, if it's Fine, we're just gonna poke it in there and see if there's anything on it. Ella? Do I... it. Can I do it? Oh, fine. Take it off. One second, one second. Just check. Poke it in. Nope. Nope. Yes. Yeah? No? Yes? Yeah. Yes? No? Yeah? Wait. Should we just take it out? Uh... <laughs> Let's just take it out. <laughs> it's more. It's gonna be beautiful. Just a stand clock. Okay, I just... Shouldn't you film taking it out? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it. You have to check if it's bouncy. <laughs> it's bouncy. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to wait for five minutes. Let's set a timer. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
Time to tip the cake out. Let's tip it. Did it did it come out? Oh my god, I can't wait. <gasps> Zalusik! Oh. Smells good? Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, no. oh, I'm so happy. High five. That was awful. Hey, that's bad. Hey. Oh, that's bad. Hey. Amela. <laughs> wow. I actually can't wait, I've been wanting someone to make upside down cake for ages. This isn't going as well as I planned. <gasps> That's my piece. Okay. okay, Alyssa, do you want to chop your own slice? <laughs> okay, so I'm trying it. I've only got a little bit because I'm not that hungry, but I'm definitely going to have more tomorrow. I think I've got to get a piece of pineapple in my first bite. Baking is so great. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Pineapple upside down cake. You can never really go wrong. Mm. Ella isn't really that hungry and she doesn't like pineapple really anyway, so she's not going to have any now. I'm going to try and convince her to try some later on because it's absolutely delicious. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna finish that off camera. I'm gonna call Ella in to finish the video. What is your verdict? It was so good. I'm gonna eat more. After, are you gonna eat dinner and then have more? I've already eaten two dinners today. And one of your dinners was your lunch. True. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. This is the kind of first attempt at the To All The Boys I Love Before Baking series, you could say, that I'm doing on my channel. I haven't read the books, but genuinely, I love Noah Centineo and Lana Condor so much. She watched the film. I told her not to watch the film until she read the book, but she watched the film anyway. I wasn't gonna read the book, sorry, but no. Well, Ella doesn't even watch my videos, so reading just isn't not what she, she doesn't do it. I still have hope that one day she'll start reading though. Thank you so much for watching. All of my social media will be linked down below and my other channel. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Say bye bye, Ella. Bye bye. Bye.